Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to do a little bit here with Ohm's Law. And I'm going to work through a couple of these here with you. So on this first one here, we're going to start off by using obviously Ohm's Law, which is V equals I times R. And in this problem, they tell us, they ask us, what is the voltage? So right here I'm going to put in V because that's what they're asking for. And then this right here, 3.7 amps, that is our current. So that's going to go in for our current. And then the resistance is the other number, the 1.5 ohms, which we got right here, 1.5. <clears throat> now, when we do that, then I'm going to take my calculator here and we get 3.7 times 1.5. And we get an answer of 5.55 ohms or not ohms sorry volts all right so that's the first one there it says second one if the current in the circuit above is 10 amps and the resistance is 3 ohms what is the voltage again so I'm still going to be V equals I R that's going to be our equation every single time here today they want to know the voltage. They tell us the current. When we're looking up current, we're looking for amps. So that tells me the current here is 10 amps. And then ohms, ohm stands for resistance. So it's 10 times 3. I don't need a calculator for this one. That's going to be 30 volts. Okay. Last one I do here then with you guys. I've got my equation in there. Let's make it red so it's a little easier for you guys to see. So if the battery in the circuit above is 24 volts. So right there they're telling us the voltage is 24. And the resistance is 12 ohms. Well, they gave us the resistance is 12 ohms. So that's R. They're going to want us to find I. And it says, what is the current I? So I'm going to put 12 in for the resistance. Well, 24 divided by 12 now, that gives me a current of 2 amps. All right, so I've done the first three for you guys. As you can see on here, there's 10 problems. The only thing that's a little bit tricky is down here it says there's two D cells. All right, well, when it comes to that equation that we're going to use, is for the voltage, because there's two of these 1.5 volts, means we're going to say there's three right there. All right, and that's all I'm going to give you. So you've got about six and a half problems left here on this to get done on your own. I hope that was beneficial. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.